What's up, everybody? I'm Captain Spanx. We're playing The Outer Worlds. I've been excited for this game since I've been following it for, I don't know, a year or something. Uh, it's made by the two guys. I forget their names. Leonard Boyarski and Tim something, who made the first two Fallout games. Fallout 2 is probably my top 10 games ever. They're amazing. So, finally, this game's out, and it's free on Game Pass day one. Yeah. Game Pass is great. So, yeah, it's like... Uh, I don't know, like Fallout New Vegas, kind of. I, I'm trying to stay blind on this. I have been following it for a while, but I, I went, I went, uh, I went dark uh, eventually because I don't want to spoil too much. So I'm excited. It's uh, a lot about choice, consequence, typical. All right, we good? I think we're good. Private division. This uh, they were working on this game before uh, Microsoft acquired them. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see if they make a sequel and what that will be like, but I don't know. This game is an autosave. Okay. Turn the volume up. Okay. Let's start this bad boy. The Outer Worlds. Not to be confused with the Outer Wilds, which I also played a Let's Play on. A couple things. Uh, gamma, Gamma, Hey, Gamma, Hey. It's weird that it starts off 38%. Normally it's like 50. Uh, I'll go a little brighter. God, that Texas one. You could barely see the left logo. We'll go 45. Just because the stream, or the recording, is a little dark. Okay, first things first, settings. <clears throat> Volume. We definitely want, okay, subtitles. Show back subtitle. Bark. Uh, keep all the subtitles. Controls. Da, 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 da. I usually turn the sensitivity down, but we'll see. Okay. Oh, you can customize the UI? Okay. Uh, well, we'll mess with all this later. New game! Okay. This is recommend for first play session. <clears throat> uh, I feel like I could do hard, <clears throat> but... Let's go normal, because my plan is to do a, uh, a, a persuasion build. Come, yeah, subtitles. Got it. Sweet. Come to Hal Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier that is owned and operated by distinguished corporations. Yeah, so there's this whole, like, corporation dystopia going on. For what I say? Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten they own a whole galaxy. Will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation <laughs> chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity. What could possibly with go wrong? Employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own. Twenty-two eighty-five. You go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. <laughs> colony ship hope found drifting. Colonists unable to be revived. Yep. Okay. Already. Already things are going wrong. By the way, I might be a little tired and loopy. It's been a long day. <clears throat> Security beacon camp 78. Hello? <clears throat> Even in the future, freaking technology screws up. <clears throat> Yeah, so the corporation, like, owns, like, a whole galaxy, basically, is what I understand. And people wanted by Halcyon Holdings Board for crimes against the colony. People, like, worship, like, it, it's, it's a satire on capitalism, from what I understand. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Might be a little loud. Okay, this is uh, this is where you make your character. So, <clears throat> I may skip all this and uh, edit the video and splice them together, because I do want to spend some time making a character. Not too much. In fact, yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna do. Uh, so this will all be connected to one episode. I'm just gonna splice these two together, uh, I think, because I, I, I want to look into this a little bit. So, yeah, let's do that, shall we? 
Okay, so I made my character. Here we go. So I went through this all. It took a little bit of time, 10-15 minutes. Um, I basically went no combat at all. I went uh, a point in intelligence because I want to have some science action going on. I want to be like uh, uh, Matt Damon in The Martian. Just science the shit out of this. Perception. Uh, always good perception. I want to lock picking. That's always handy. I don't want to lock myself off from content. Uh, charm. My build is going to be very persuade persuasive. That's persuadable persuasive uh, and also I went with temperament I don't know there's sneak there's lying there it's kind of a little medley uh, so yeah we did that <clears throat> skills again we're going all in here dialogue and it looks like the skills are broken down into brackets so I chose dialogue which boosts these three things which are all very good uh, and stealth I was debating going with tech but I don't know I thought science would be more like getting into machines and stuff like that, but I think that's hacking. So, <clears throat> yeah, dialogue and stuff. We're not very good at combat. We're going to rely on our teammates for combat. Now, aptitude. Uh, this was another tough one. A lot of these weren't great bonuses. Uh, you know, a little bit of minus 3% certain damage. So, again, all in persuade. <clears throat> We're going all in. Uh, next. Appearance now I chose a female character and One of the things that bums me out is there's only one that I saw like long hair that you could do everything is like short hair So I chose like the one that's long hair and then I was going through all these options and I suddenly realized I think I just made Winona Ryder from Beetlejuice Not on purpose <clears throat> But that's kind of Winona Ryder from Beetlejuice uh, And I'm sticking with it with the makeup and the hair so I decided what am I gonna name her? Winona Ryder. I don't know. This was not planned. It's not like I'm a Winona Ryder fan. Whoops, necessarily. Uh, but yeah, we're going Winona Ryder. So, there you go. That's a summary of our skills. She almost has like an N7 Mass Effect outfit going on there. Aptitude. Cashier, subgrade, non super What does that mean? Can I look at that? Uh, okay, anyway. Let's roll, baby. Winona Ryder. Here we go. From Beetlejuice specifically, her her goth style, yes. Except maybe a little Ali Sheedy in there. <laughs> Breakfast Club. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. It's very dramatic for a uh, unfreezing. <laughs> Not likely bootlickers. Oh snap. This guy's pretty punk rock. He's like Johnny Phineas. So why are we being shot at? Interesting. <clears throat> Terra 2, orbiting laboratory. So far graphics pretty good. Status. Structural integrity down 25%. <sighs> Shit. Picked the wrong day to stop smoking. Okay, so <clears throat> I don't know exactly what's going on yet. Why is this a big thing? Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Yes. A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years. 70 years? <laughs> Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Oh, liquefaction, Is not liquefaction. Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying Yay. so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see here. Yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies, saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. So I'm saving the I'll colonists. I've myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. 
Now, my ship is Who are you, but Phineas? I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck. All right. <clears throat> Huh, remember the hope. 60th anniversary of the hope's disappearance. Chairman Rockwell raises a glass to our lost brothers and sisters. Your loading screen tip could be here. <laughs> I like how the loading screen tip is. Here are our loading screen tips. Tactical time dial. Okay, so yeah, there's a tactical time dilation, which is kind of like VATS from what I've seen. I think it slows things down. Heavier armor blocking and moving under time dilation. Goal. Yeah, it's a weird system where like, it slows time down, and certain actions will defeat the bar more. Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. It's almost His like action points from the old Fallout games, be waiting for you at the but modern. Site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with no. a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. Oh, uh, I don't like I'll that. with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... All colonists are counting on you. I like how it's the future, but the technology still is, like, you know, not great. <clears throat> I don't want to skip. Also, I don't know if your character is voiced or not. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. <coughs> what in law's name? That's pretty is right that there. him? Oh, that idiot. I told him Ooh, to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Alright, achievement. Oh, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. 30. Okay, so there's Hawthorne our. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Well, I don't think Not Hawthorne sure minds. I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame okay. about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. So A is the jump. I don't know if I can loot Hawthorne. Looks like <clears throat> no. That's not. I thought that was a blade. That's actually like the machine. Okay, these are really pretty. All right, so we're here. We got uh, rings around another neighboring planet, I think. Looks like a, maybe a moon or another planet. Very pretty. It's a good looking game. It's made by a pretty small team. They always, the two guys are like time and budget, time and budget. So they were trying to stress the scope of this, you know, isn't Fallout. Maybe 20 to 30 hour game instead. Based on, re, uh, focused on replayability, which I'm okay with. All right, jump over obstacles. Beep. What was that? I saw a shadow. Okay, this is the evil day start. All right, uh, oh, hello. Can I hit? Looks like a little dragon. Neat. Almost a little bit of No Man's Sky vibe to look a little bit. I know that's an evil thing to say, No Man's Sky, it's taboo. Although it's gotten really good out here. Uh, okay. Beep. Look at my HUD up there. I'm always somebody who focuses on HUD. So far, pretty clean. Uh, left bumper something, A. I don't know. Whoa! Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was probably like heal or something, okay. Whoa! That's a real sprint. Ha, I learned it before you said it. Damn, that's a sprint, dude. Look how fast. Can I vault? <clears throat> no. Maybe they want me to run and jump. Yep. Nope. That's not the way to go. A little tired. Oh, just follow the quest marker. Why don't you? Yeah, so I think it's more like Mass Effect, where it's not open a world, but it's like zoned. Or Dragon Age. Uh, crouch to sneak and avoid uh, detection. Alright, we got a sneak mechanic. I don't know how it works yet, but... Oh. What's in the pot? Aw, I want to look at it. 
While sneaking, use tall grass, rocks, or other cover to hide from enemies. Use this to sneak past enemies or sneak up on them to initiate co oh, combat. You have, uh, it looks like a dagger. Let's take that. Yeah, Martyr Thug. Your legs are missing. Reminds me of, what's that movie, Kids? I have no legs. I have no legs. I have no legs. That's an obscure reference for you, movie Kids. Tall grass, yeah, I get it. Oh, I see, so that it dims a little bit. Okay, we're playing a video game now. What is that? Are they gonna mate? This is like David At Attenborough, Planet Earth. And now, we see the two purple unicorn tigers about to mate. Uh, the awareness meters over enemy heads tell you if they are unaware, suspicious, or investigating, or alerted. So I think they're just chilling right now. Let's let them do their thing. I don't even want to see. Oh, okay, Metal Gear. Uh, go, go, go. Tutorials. I don't think I have a weapon yet. I tried pressing the right trigger to punch, but didn't do anything. So maybe you can't punch. I know there is melee and I'm super tempted to try melee because I never do a melee build in these games and I kind of want to, but I also know a little bit about like the science skill. You can use like crazy science weapons like the shrink gun. Whoa. It's that noise. What? Whoa. Well, you see now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Uh. I mean, haven't they thought out people many times? So don't they know by now? Okay. Do, do, do. I like these little critters. I kind of want to kill them and eat them. And wear their skin on my shoe. Alright. Uh, this doesn't look good. We're going to learn about fall damage right here. I kind of want to jump to there and see if that's something. Should we try it? Let's try it. Let's get cray cray. No. Oh, I broke my legs. Oh. <laughs> now nah, I'm fine. I can still walk. That bone crunching did not sound good. It took off half my life. The tutorial is going to tell me press left bumper to heal. You dingus. What's that? Oh. Hey, you. Come here. Guard Felon? Hold on, I want to check your stuff first. Why is there a stool in a crate? Spacer's choice. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's <laughs> choice. I like oh, that. Wow, that stings. <clears throat> so is this like a religion, like in a law? You gotta like uh, alright, anyway, medical. Is it so is this saying, like, this will guarantee successful? Let's... Mm, patch him up first. <clears throat> uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Staunch Hope bleeding. you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Uh, how you feeling, bro? Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. I like the uh, depth of field, the way this is. <clears throat> the depth of, depth of field's weird in conversations. I like it. Um, you're hiding a cane, you blocked up any years, good as dead. Uh, let's learn about the martyrs. Gibbering, flesh eating, law breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Tell me how you really Some feel. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Oh, interesting. Wait, I've got a better idea. Give me your gun, I'll go help. I can lie to him. Someone got a ship with you? I'll hunt him down for you. Wait. So I wouldn't actually hunt him down. I would lie about it. Or you're an idiot. Give me your gun before you get yourself killed. I'm going to go with uh, Persuade. I'm going to probably be a good guy in this first run. I debated it a lot. Yeah, okay. Next you run, like bad guy. Way around a gun. <clears throat> got some spare ammo. Or bad girl. Not counting the bullet in my side. 
Here, you can have my saber too, Ooh. for patching me up and all. All Spacer's choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. I love how they're yes, dull. nailed at that time. They, they really are convinced. It really is like a religion or a cult. <clears throat> Satire, you guys. Okay. Uh, damn it, I wanted to ask about the other stuff. Now I can't. Damn it. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Mmm. I do like seafood. Do you know anything about the Hope? The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Auntie Cleo? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Oh, okay. You could toggle your history. All right. Uh, no, say it again. You hit your head or something? Okay. Damn it! I wanted to ask about the other stuff. Oh well. I could shoot him. I'm pretty sure you can kill everybody in this game. No, it's telling me to attack this game. No, on top. Thanks for patching me up. You got it, buddy. Uh, damn it! All right. <clears throat> I can shoot those critters. You know what? Let's save it, just in case I do something stupid. Which is bound to happen. Uh, okay. Oh, what's that? What's that? Yeah, I'll take it. Is he gonna get mad? Oh, okay. Sleep? Oh, wait, we actually healed up. Why did we heal? Weird. Tart Tartarus sauce. Probably like tartar. Pre sliced bread? Oh, man. By the way, George Carlin has a good bit on it. You know how everyone says, like, it's the greatest thing since sliced bread? What's so great about sliced bread? You got a loaf of bread, you got a knife, cut the freaking thing. It's not that hard. Seriously, sliced bread is not that great of an invention, guys. Okay, so can I, is it reloaded? Nine in the chamber, is that how this works? All right. Don't press LB, let's try left trigger, aim down sights. What does right bumper do? Nothing yet, and then that's attack, okay. So, I like the music. It almost reminds me of the first two fallouts. Very <coughs> atmospheric, ambient. Um, <clears throat> let me try something here. Can I steal? Oh, I can take that. Pick up. Didn't say steal. Oh, medicine? Water tablets. <clears throat> Sweet. I wonder, I, I forgot to check if hardcore mode has like a thing like Fallout does. We have to worry about thirst and all that. I'm not really into that, honestly, but... Alright, anyway, I'll stop faffing around. Um, that's pretty much an episode. What does this button do? Safety training. You can have the four weapons equipped at a time. Okay. On this page, you can also inspect your weapons. Flag them as junk. Alright. <clears throat> gotcha. <clears throat> Hold to continue. So there I am. I got the Mass Effect suit going on. We have a, uh, a saber. 73 dips. 100 dips. So th why is this? <clears throat> why would you use this if it does less damage? Special effect bleed. I wish the text wasn't so small. And we can inspect it. Uh, all right. Let's just roll you guys. I'll worry about this off camera. Wait. All right. We're not going to shoot him, are we? Wait. No, we're not going to shoot him. <clears throat> so, oh wait. Do I have to... Do I have to shoot those things? I imagine it is. To clear the path. There's got to be an easier way than this. <clears throat> Alright, clear the area. Watch out, bro. Oh. How do I read that? Reload should pretty much always be X. And it is. <clears throat> That's an industry standard. Oh, I want to kill one of those. How do I time dilate? Ah, the sensitivity is, is weird. I gotta get used to it. Yeah. What? Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes 
time differently. But yet it affects the world as well, I guess. Anyway, uh, TDT, TDD, which is my favorite wrestling move, <clears throat> button slows down the world, giving you time to think. You have a limited time in this mode. St yeah, see, here it is. This is this is really cool. Standing still drains your meter slowly uh, while moving and attacks drain it faster. I like that. Okay, RB. Whoa! All right, all right. Boom. Mm, he's alive. Oh, I suck, you guys. Jeez, that was rough. I'm gonna have to turn down the sensitivity. That text is tiny. Amount of bits. I'll take your bits. Did 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 the creatures? Wait. All right, take it. A light pistol. Is that what we have? Take their hide. Okay. How do I switch weapons easily? Anyway, we'll figure that off camera. That's gonna be an episode, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. On the next one, we're gonna roll through. Uh, I'm excited. I'm also gonna stream this one eventually when I have time. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. This was just the early uh, section, obviously, but I think it's going to get good. The game's going to open up. We're going to have some choices to make, and we'll probably screw it up. Shoot them when enemies are nearby. Okay. Thank you so much, for, guys, for watching. Let me know what you think, and I will catch you on the next one. Later.